people can resist beautiful school supplies. Don't you want to decorate your workplace with a cute Lego notebook? Or use a heart marker and a feather bookmark? Watch our new video! There are a lot of interesting things waiting for you! And our first life hack will tell you how to turn an ordinary marker into a magic one. Take the marker, cut off the sharp tip with a box cutter, and cut out a heart there. You get a micro stamp. Leave your heart autographs wherever you can. For the next idea, take a spiral notebook, some paper, and a pair of skeins of thread. Glue the paper to the cover of the notebook. Draw a unicorn on the front side. Cut the colored threads and arrange them into bundles. Fold the threads in half and insert them through the spiral on the notebook. Tighten carefully. Do the same with the rest of the bundles from long to short. A charming mane is ready! Decorate the cover with decorative flowers. Fasten them with a hot glue gun. The result is a cute unicorn notebook with a fluffy mane. You just feel like writing something nice in it. And now, take a cardboard sleeve and cut it in half. Also, prepare four cardboard circles. Coat the edge of one half with Elmer's glue. Fasten a circle to it. Glue the remaining circles along the entire length of the sleeve at the same distance from each other. Paint the design. Glue the decoration to it. A horn made out of colored cardboard and decorative roses. Draw a muzzle. Fill the compartments with small things from your desk. Now they will always be on hand and will never be lost. Next, you need a can and a few corks. Cut a cork into thin slices with a box cutter. Using a hot glue gun, glue all over the jar with those slices. Take paints and a sponge brush. Decorate the circles however you want. We choose to do a pink gradient. Don't forget to also paint the can. Decorate the can with glitter. When the paint is dry, put all your office supplies in the organizer and hang stickers with reminders on the cork walls. Very convenient! Do you like to read books? Then you definitely need this comfortable and beautiful feather. Take a ball of thread and a piece of thick wire. Fold the wire in half. Twist it into a braid using round pliers, leaving a small loop at the top. Wind a small amount of thread on your fingers. Cut it on one side and get segments of the same length. Take a couple of pieces of thread and fold them in half. Connect them here so that a loose knot is formed. Insert the wire and tighten it at the top. Cover it with thread completely so that the wire is not visible. Trim the ends. Take a self-adhesive strip of rhinestones and glue it in the center. Insert the long thread through the loop on the wire. It turned out to be a beautiful feather bookmark. Now, reading will be even more fun! From the next life hack, you will learn how to make a very original notebook. Take a tennis ball. Cut it in half. Glue the halves in the center. Make small, neat waves on the notebook's cover with a hot glue gun. Apply each new layer on the previous one. Coat the whole cover with glue. Take paints and brushes. Paint the layers with different colors, one by one. When all the glue is painted, draw eyes. Try to make them as realistic as possible. The result is an exclusive big-eyed notebook. You can't buy another one like this even for a lot of money. There's no such thing as too many magnets. Let's make some more. Take a metal lid and a magnet. Glue the magnet to the outer side with a hot glue gun. Fill the inside of the lid with glue completely to the brim. When the glue hardens, take some dry glitter. 
apply a paper stencil to the glue. Cover the empty zones with clear nail polish and sprinkle them with glitter. Remove the stencil. Paint over the areas that were under it with the clear polish. Sprinkle them with glitter of a different color. You can experiment however you like with flowers. Place the finished magnets on the board. I think that it came out very nicely. No one would guess that they are homemade. Making a mini chalkboard out of the cover of a notebook? Easy! Take a notebook, a glass of water, acrylic paint, and gypsum. Pour some water into the paint and pour the gypsum. Mix everything up to a uniform consistency with a brush. You get chalkboard paint. Paint the cover. Try to apply the paint in a dense uniform layer. Wait for the paint to dry. Done! Take multicolored chalks and draw a cover matching your mood. And when you get tired of the drawing, erase it and draw a new one. Do you take a lot of notes? Then you definitely need this original paper organizer. Take a printed picture of a pack of french fries. Carefully cut it along the outline. Fold the pack along the fold lines. And glue it. Take strips of paper for notes. Cut the edge of each strip with curly scissors. Put all the resulting fries in the pack. Take out a fry when you need to write something down. Just don't try to eat it. And to make a special sharpener, take a matchbox. Remove the top of it. Paint the inner box with pink paint. Cover the upper part with a soft foam sheet. Using a hole puncher, make small circles out of the soft foam rubber sheet. Glue the circles in even rows to the box on top to make it look like a Lego block. Cut a part of the sidewall from the inside with a box cutter. Glue a regular pencil sharpener in the slot. Wait until the glue dries and assemble the matchbox. Test your Lego sharpener. It works great! And now take an ordinary notebook and cut out a smaller notebook from it. Cover it all over with a soft foam sheet. Make small circles from the remaining part of the sheet with a hole puncher. Gently glue the circles in even rows to the cover. You can decorate any notebook like this. You can even make a whole Lego set. For the next life hack, take a compass, shiny double-sided cardboard, and a shred of tool. Cut out a couple of ballerina silhouettes out of the cardboard. Glue the figures to the compass. Put a tutu on them made out of tool. Make a belt from a self-adhesive strip of rhinestones. They say that technical drawing is an art, but who would have thought that it's choreographic? And now take a two-sided photo frame. Disassemble it and take out the glass. Take a couple of sheets of decorative paper. Apply the glass to them and cut them according to its size. Glue the decorative details on the paper. Glue the backs of the sheets together. Fold them under the glass and paste into the frame. The board is ready! To write on the glass, use the marker. With such an original whiteboard for notes, you'll never forget anything again. Did you like our new dose of ideas? Which of them would you like to try out first? Let us know in the comments! If you want to always be up to date with our news, subscribe to our channel, give this video a like, click on the bell button, and share this video with your friends!